Joining us right now, Republican strategist, former Reagan campaign advisor, and Fox News contributor Ed Rollins joining the conversation. Ed, good to see you. Good morning. Your reaction to the selection uh, of Rex Tillerson? I think it's a superb choice. It's not a choice you would have thought about when a man was out running as the populist candidate. Uh, but, he, but, he, but what he's showing is that he's putting a cabinet of very superior people. What, what I sort of laugh at is two months ago, people didn't think he was going to get elected. Then they said if he got elected, there'd be no way to get top-notch people to come into his administration. This is as fine a group as I've ever seen coming into, this, into Trump Tower. Maybe it's the attraction of Trump Tower, but certainly in the, in the very short period of time that he's been president, he's created all kinds of activity. This is a man who obviously, the only question you're going to have is, is he, is he Putin pal and everybody else sees Putin as an adversary? And my sense is he knows the man very well. He'll basically have to prove himself in, in his Senate hearings. But once he does, I think it'd be a very good, good, good sector. One word. You know what I like about this pick? Accountability. At the end of the day, these business people have accountability. They are knowing that the buck stops with them. Well, I think that's, I think the, the other part is the president gets to pick who he wants to advise him. And these are the people he wants to advise him. It shows he's not intimidated. There's two kinds of leaders in the world. There are leaders who put a lot of weak people around them, so they always look as like the star. Or there's people who put the strongest team around them, so they always look like they know what's going on. And I think that's what Trump is. Trump is putting a very strong team together. I, I, th th they're controversial. There's a number of people going to have real, real knockdown, drag out fights. He can't lose one of these fights. He's got to push the Democrats back. He's got to convince the Republicans these are the right people to move forward. And I think well, he will do that. He was looking at so many people and so many candidates for this position. Position, he was likely not going to please everyone. And Newt Gingrich was very vocal against having Mitt Romney head up state. He just tweeted two minutes ago, getting Rex Tillerson to serve as Secretary of State is a great achievement by President-elect Trump. He will make America great again. So he's obviously giving his stamp of approval right. on that. Right. And I wish the uh, other members, Ed, of the Republican Party would, uh, would fall in line here. I mean, we don't need another issue like we had with Ryan uh, on some of his well comments. we won't I you know we, we've, he's going to have some as, as, the, as the policy starts getting poured out uh, obviously some of these things are going to cost money obviously his tax bill is going to be very very important to get this economy moving and that's what the Republicans really have to be in line Democrats are going to become an opposition party uh, and that's all they're going to be able to do is throw hand grenades at him and they've got to knock him back early he's got to get his team in there and again it's very very important he not lose any of these battles and they have to be really prepared for knockdown but night. some of the burden falls on Trump does it not in terms of how he communicates whether it's via Twitter what he says in interviews about the the potential Russian hacking of the the campaign he's got a he's got a ease the confirmation of Rex Tillerson and all of his nominees. He has to explain why he's picked these people and he has to go to the American public in, in big arenas, not just, not just the rallies. He's got to go on network television. He's got to convince uh, people that this, this is, these are why I picked these people. I, I teach a course in the American presidency. I take from, the, from George Washington forward and how the presidency's evolved uh, at Hofstra. And I've done it for a number of years. I was trying to think, who is this guy like? You know, people try to compare to Reagan, who I work for, and others. He may be a Teddy Roosevelt. I mean, he, he's a bigger than life figure. Wow. And, yeah. uh, and he, uh, Big statement from Ed Rollins. Well, I, I, I've, I've come to that conclusion. He's, he's going to be, he's in everybody. I go out the door this morning, the doorman says to me, man, six weeks this guy's done more than Obama's done in eight, eight years. Uh, you know, that's a blue collar guy. And, and, and that's the way these people out there are going to see him kind of as a hero figure. He's going to be fighting for them. And that's the key thing. Every day I'm fighting for them and getting jobs mm -hmm. two years from now, four years from now, there has to be more jobs in America and the quality of life. These people in Pennsylvania. Michigan, Michigan, elsewhere, has to be better than it is today. What about Energy Secretary Fox News also reporting that Texas Governor Rick Perry will become the Energy Secretary? I, Your I, reaction to I that? Love Rick Perry. Rick Perry is one of my favorite governors. He, he, uh, he a great disservice was done to him uh, four years ago in the debate process. He's been governor for 14 years. He is the best campaigner I've ever seen in my life. I think you've got an all-star cast. You started with Mike Pence, who's a great governor, uh, Nikki Haley at UN. Now Mike, now uh, Rick Perry, who is just fabulous, knows energy knows that state well, knows the country well. It, it, it'll be great to have the Secretary of Energy really setting policy for energy versus the EPA setting energy policy. I think policy. that's absolutely right. And, and Such it, a good point. You're and, right. And one other thing, the biggest energy in energy is the nuclear. We, that's where you store all the nuclear weapons yeah. uh, and what have you. He's got a military background. He's been an officer, been a, a pilot. So, you know, he, he basically will really run that department well, I'm sure. Yes. It, it's critically important that that get resolved. It's been kicked the, kicked the can down the right. road on nuclear waste, and it's time to get that resolved. Absolutely. I'll tell you, it's a new day. Definitely a new day. <laughs> Definitely a new day. <laughs> It's not even an inaugural day yet. <laughs> I was going to say. But he did this on purpose. He, he, he 
d held a beauty contest. He created, he created drama. He's, 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 but he's, again, but that's a part about pulling back the curtains and letting the American people know that, hey, I talked to this I, guy about Secretary of State and I like him, I've, but I like Rex Tillerson better. I've, and they I've, love it. They're I've eating doing, it up. I've been doing this for 50 years, been around politics for 50 years. I've seen about seven or eight transitions. There's never been the excitement in America about the transition. Everybody gets up, they wait for their tweet <laughs> right. in the morning, what's going to happen, who's, who's up today, who's going up the tower today. Uh, you know, I can't even tell you half the members of, of Obama's cabinet. I know everybody that's <laughs> going through the this. Right. Well, his favorability is up to 50 percent, uh, by the way. The people you. give a damn. Yes, yes they do. You know what? We had stopped caring because basically the bureaucrats and the right. know-it-alls had taken over Washington, and now people have but a But the process again. is so much different, too. The live TV cameras in the lobby of Trump Tower that yeah. have a look on everybody. White House yeah. North. Boom, right through. Wait, we got to talk about these recounts. Guys, put that back because Wisconsin mm -hmm. did the recount, uh, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, further affirming President-elect Donald Trump's victory. Trump just tweeted out, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania have just certified my wins in those states. I picked up additional votes. <laughs> Amazing. Trump won by more than 22,000 votes in Wisconsin, more than 44,000 votes in Pennsylvania. Ed, here you have Jill Stein talking about, you know, potential fraud. They do a recount, and it's actually bigger than, than, you, than what we thought. You, sell, you seldom ever see recounts changing a whole lot. We went to the drill in Florida several years ago, and it was very few, you know, th 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 thousands of hours devoted to the, to the tension and, and millions of dollars, and it really, the results weren't much different. There are 50 state secretaries of state that work very hard to make sure this is an honorable system. There's thousands of county clerks. There really isn't cheating in our system. Uh, there's other elements of the system that need to be fixed, but there's not cheating at the polls. What about John Podesta trying to hijack the Electoral College and have the electors briefed by the uh, briefed this, on some Russian far, hacking that the American people I'm haven't even heard anything about from the CIA? They can go brief all the Democrats. Who are her electors because the bottom line is they lost. Did you want to have they a final comment? <laughs> no, I mean, the real quick one with this administration, what I've seen in business is everybody wants authority, right. lesser amount wants responsibility, and hardly any of the politicians want accountability. Right. You have an administration that's used to accountability. Right. No, I, I like it. I think that's very good. The, the one thing I think is important for someone like Tillis and others, you've got to get a good deputy that understands the department and someone like John Bolton, uh, right. you know, that know the bureaucrats because what always happens, you send them out to, 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 to move and change and, you know, eight, nine weeks later they come back and they say, you won't believe what great people I have over there in the Department of Energy or the Department of State or what have you. They've sort of captured them and you've got to make sure you have people who know where the bodies are. A uh, guy like Bolton put some of the bodies in place. So. That's expected, right? <laughs> yeah. No, but, but that's what's expected, right? That John yeah. Bolton will be. I, the would, I would hope so. I mean, John, John's fabulous. Secretary so. of State. Right. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking great. about. Ed, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Ed Rollins joining us.